Hello and welcome back to you, Trojan Sports Now. I am now joined here with freshman forward uh, Tatum Terrell of the soccer team. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing doing good. good. Okay, uh, first off, let me ask, how did you get started into soccer? Um, when I was younger, just me, all my siblings and I, we just played. And so we just got into it and kept going. Uh, I saw that you played multiple sports in high school. How did you get to playing all those different sports? Um, I just thought they were fun. I was like, figured out I was really athletic when you're just playing outside. So I decided to try them out and just, this did them. And what other sports did you play growing up? Um, I played basketball, volleyball, ran track. I even played softball a little bit, yeah. Uh, I saw that your mom played basketball at the University of Southern Miss. Uh, talk about how that's just like, an, like if that's an inspiration to you or? Um, she actually played at um, the W. Okay. Yeah. So she played there and you know, she, I just like how she was athletic and just carried it on to us and stuff. Got you. And uh, what made you choose soccer over all the other sports that you played growing up? Um, I just like soccer the most, you know, I just like to play it and it just like, it was a passion to me. So I just liked it better than the rest of them. Got you. And you always see three sport athletes you normally choose the one sport. Uh, how did all those other sports help make you better at soccer? Um, well, it could make me better as a character more than anything because like you were on different teams with different people and it just brought me like discipline and stuff like that. And it like kind of brought me out of my shell more because I was a little like to myself. So I had to get to know more people and be involved with more people and more coaches. So yeah, it kind of brought me out of my shell and changed my character a little bit. Got you. And uh, your dad played football at Southern Miss. Mm -hmm. uh, did you grow up a Southern Miss fan? I actually did. I, I, we used to go to all the Southern Miss football games. You know, I had all the Southern Miss apparel. So <laughs> then playing Southern Miss the other, the other weekend was kind of interesting. How, how was that, by the way, um, uh, seeing Southern Miss here in Troy? Well, <laughs> it was like home in my new home. It was my mom and my brother came, and they were like, go Southern Miss. And then I would just sit there, and I'd be like, Go Troy, go Southern Miss. I just didn't know like what to do, but I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Got you. So what brought you here to Troy? What what made you come here to Troy? Um, well, I really liked the coaches. Like they were friendly and they made everything seem like at home. And when I came on my unofficial visit, I just hung out with some of the girls and that I just remember times like that and it just really like made my decision for me. And this is one of the better seasons that the soccer team has had in many years. Uh, how is that locker room? How, how have y'all grown as a group? Um, we're really a family, you know, like if anything happens to one of us, we're all like, no, you can't do that. And I just feel like it's just, like I said, a family and you know, we, the vibe in the locker room is so great and everybody's just cheerful. And then I just like to see where we're going. Okay. And did you ever want to play for Southern Miss um, growing up? I mean, when I was younger, of course I did. But like, as I got older, I had to make a decision to like, what's best for me and what's like, what, what is going to get me further in life academically, soccer wise and everything. So. Understandable. Yeah. Understandable. Uh, so what's your major here, Troy? Um, chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Okay. So why chemistry? Um, both my parents have PhDs in chemistry. So like it's kind of in my blood. So like if I'm having a problem or something that I'm confused about, I call my mom and be like, oh, I need a little help. But yeah, I just, I know I want to go to medical school. So like chemistry is like the most mathy science, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like I chose chemistry out of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why I, I chose broadcast. <laughs> so, uh, and you are coming off of an ACL injury. Uh, what was that rehab process like to get you back ready for college soccer? Um, I could say it was very, very long. Like, 
I feel like if I was already in college or if I was just like a junior in my high school career, I w it wouldn't have taken as long just because I wasn't going from high school to college. I went like a huge step. So it was just, it's just been long, but like all the people who've helped me, all the physical therapists, all the trainers, Will here and stuff, they just really helped me like get through it and all the hard times, the good times, it's just, it's been a long process, but hey, I made it. <laughs> you did. You you certainly made it back. You've played in five games this year, started one, and your first career start for Troy, you had a hat trick. Uh, talk about that feeling. Um, I was the my favorite thing about that is the support from my team and everything. It was like uh, Jed was talking about the other day. It's not just about us as individuals. It's us as a team and it just made me really appreciate them more because of the support and love they gave me and it was just an overwhelming feeling. Got you and going back to that rehab process uh, do you feel like that's something that like that experience you can like take once you go into medical school and you can learn from that and possibly help others in the future? Definitely with the emotional support I could say because it, like I said it was a long hard process and mm -hmm. sometimes you're just like why do I have to do this today? I'm in so much pain. And I just feel like from that experience, I'll be able to like help others. Like I've been through that, but I promise on the other side, it's just better. Like if you just get through this one day at a time, it'll just be better for you. For sure, for sure. And uh, you scored three goals this Saturday, but you scored 203 goals in high school. <laughs> uh, and that's still a school record. Uh, do you feel like you can repeat that here at Troy? Um, <laughs> well, it's going to be a little tougher just because, you know, the college level is so big For and, sure. and everybody's just so good. And it's a goal, but it's a, it's a big goal. It's a big like, goal. It's a big it's a goal. goal. Long-term goal. Long -term right, long-term goal. Long -term goal. Uh, Short-term goal. What are the goals that we're lining up on the season? Um, well, we just want to win, you know, of course, you know, we just want to win as many conference games as we can. We just, we want to win the Sun Belt Conference. We, we just want to win. That's the thing, to win. <laughs> For sure. And uh, y'all have came a long way so far uh, this season. Uh, talk about how, from the start of the season, how much you and the team have improved from the start of the season to now. Um, well, from the, at the beginning of the season, I wasn't playing, so I wasn't traveling with the team. I wasn't as involved with the team as I am now. But I can say at the beginning, I realized how much of a team we are. Like I said previously, like a family we are. Because I was like on the outside looking in and I could just see like the correlation between the team and like everything. And I feel like as the season has gone on and gone on, we've grown stronger. It's like sure. the more, of course, the more you win, the more, the stronger you get. But I feel like we're winning for each other instead of ourselves now. I just feel like all the goals we make, it's like the whole team. Like it could start from the goalie to the forward. And it's just like every line of defense the, to the midfield, to the forwards, it's just like all working together now. Got you. And I can say from my experience here at Troy, I'm a senior now, uh, there's never been an energy like this around the soccer team where not only like is there hope that we can win games but that we are starting to expect to win games uh do y'all feel that energy as well from we, from the student body we definitely do like we, we have conversations in the locker room like we're supposed to win this game like you hit like we feel everybody like we're supposed to win this game so yeah i do we do feel that Got you. And going back to high school, uh, you actually won the 800 meter state <laughs> championship uh, in 2016 and 17. Uh, how how does that translate to soccer? Um, well, of course, the fitness wise, you mm -hmm. know, and everything. And like when you run the 800, you know, you're running two laps, like almost at full speed. So it's like a mental thing. And that like correlates to soccer as well because it's like you're running and it's sometimes you're just like I'm tired and constant sprinting. yeah like you yeah. you're tired and you're like but I have to continue because like with track if you just because you win one event doesn't mean the whole team wins for sure so it's like the more you win in your individual event like the higher expected for the team to win like the better chance for the whole team to win so it's sure. like 
even though track you want run individually, it's still a team sport. So I feel like just the motivation to like be a team and just work together as a team is just and work for your team is just it just carries on to soccer too. For sure. And uh, one last question. Uh, so I know you play forward. Did you ever play other positions growing up, or did you ever want to play other positions? Um, well, I played goalie <laughs> when I was little, but that was when I was much younger. If he put me in now, I would try my best, but <laughs> it wouldn't be as good as like Haley or Gabby or Miranda. But also, I played center back for a little bit too, you know, just because I am a forward, I know what a forward wants to do. So it's just easier to like play it, but then like I've never played it on the college level. So I don't know if it's the same as, you know, like high school, middle school, and you know, younger ages. Gotcha. Uh, well, thank you for joining me today. Of course. And stay tuned for more on Trojan Sports Now coming up.